Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome uh, for this meetup. Uh, I can see several members have joined us here. Makubia uh, Steven, Julie Moses, David, Danish, uh, uh, Joseph, Peter. Several people are joining us, and we are going to be starting uh, within uh, like five minutes as we wait for uh, members to join. And then after that, we shall have um, Charlotte share with us in the first uh, topic about working from home. Then after that, we shall uh, open up the discussion for members to contribute. So uh, you are all welcome. Uh, you are all welcome for this session. Uh, Lawrence is also here. Yeah, hey guys, how are you? I'm going to request the members greet us. Mr. Moses, Moses Lejuli, are you hearing me? Yes. Hello. Yes, Rogers. I can, I can hear you, Rogers. Yes. Uh, you can greet the members briefly. Uh, I'm just trying to have some few brief introductions as our as our our speaker gets on board. So you're welcome. So thank you, uh, members. Uh, good afternoon and uh, hope that everyone is still safe in this uh, period of uh, COVID-19. I'm so much grateful for this initiative uh, from Mr. Mukalele Rogers and for all those who have taken up the idea and joined this meeting, you're most welcome. I'm um, with Julie Moses. Uh, let's have a fruitful discussion. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Moses. Uh, that's good to hear that you can be able to get this uh any other person um mr danish are you hearing me yes okay okay uh, i think i guess members can get us mr senyonjo peter mr donald chidonde mr jude chigozi you are all welcome okay now um we are going to we are going to discuss this meetup is uh, organized by WordPress community and uh, we have also invited members from the ICT Teachers Association to be part of this meetup. We are going to be talking about working from home, working from home. All of us, ever since the the coronavirus pandemic came, we are we are at home. So we are going to be sharing some tips. And uh, at this time, I want to invite uh, Mr. Charlotte to um, introduce herself and share with us. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, greetings from Chibali Forest. Uh, apologies if uh, the connection is not very good, but uh, we'll try our best. So uh, some of you know me from World Camps, and I'm a blogger. I've been using WordPress for several years and I've actually been working from home for almost 10 years. So I thought it'd be a nice time for me to share a few tips on, on things that have made me work better, but also a few pitfalls that, um, that we need to avoid. Um, my blog is called Diary of a Mzungu um, and it specializes in travel and uh, Uganda mostly. So, uh, can you see the slides okay? Yes, we see the slides. Yes, we okay, can see Okay, so um, a couple of the first tips to bear in mind are simple things like getting organized. Um, and I always think it's important that you keep regular hours when you work from home. It's very tempting to, uh, to get up late or to go to bed late, um, but it's going to be better for you mentally if you can keep the same kind of hours that you had when you're in the office place. And it also makes it much easier for your boss and your colleague as well, if they know what time of day they can get hold of you. Um, do create a separate working area. I always say don't work in bed, although I know it works for some people. But personally, I like to have a division between my work life and my personal life. And, and bed is where I relax and I sleep and I read books and so on. So I've, I've never worked in bed. Um, it's not very good for your back either. So try and create a separate working area. And, and, and you may have a desk or you may have an, a table that you have to share with the, in, in the kitchen or for eating meals. But, um, and if you have to do that, 
eat your meals and then do your work because you should be enjoying your food and having a bit of time, of time out. Um, if you're eating and you're working, um, you risk throwing things on your laptop. I don't know if you've done that, thrown a glass of water or something on your keyboard. Um, now is a really bad time to have that kind of accident, isn't it? Because you may not be able to get your laptop fixed. So be careful about um, food and drink on your, on your laptop or your phone. Um, another tip for getting organised is to tell your family and friends when you're working so they don't interrupt you so that you can get your work head on um, and you can keep focused. Because if you've got young children running around and people think you're at home so you're available all the time, that's going to make it really hard for you to meet your deadlines. Um, embrace technology. I'm sure that most of you are already doing this, but um, try and make use of Google Docs and Google Sheets if you're not already. Uh, use Dropbox, use Zoom like we are today and Skype. And um, it's a much more efficient way of sharing information because if you're emailing lots of versions of the same document around, you're very quickly going to lose track of who's working on which document. So um, get in the habit now of using something like Google or Dropbox if you're not already. Um, another thing is to check that your laptop and phone software are up to date. Check your antivirus software. Um, I know that we're trying to save data at the moment because we're probably covering a lot of those costs ourselves rather than using free Wi-Fi at work. But now is not the time for you to get a virus because uh, we're self-isolating. We're not supposed to be going out of the house. And if we have to go and get the, the laptop or the phone fixed, um, that's going to cause us unnecessary stress. Um, if you're working uh, with clients like I am, I need to give them a record of how I spend my time. You may also need to do that with a boss or other colleagues. So I use an app called toggle.com. Um, it's a free app. You can have it on your phone and your laptop. And there's a little timer that you just click on and it just and it has a, a very detailed record of um, up to the second of what you're doing with your time. And then you can allocate it to different projects and different um, different clients as well. And also it keeps you on track because you know that you have to do four hours a day for X client. Um, and it's much better than having lots of different pieces of paper and writing things down. So that's an app that I find is really useful. Um, and then at the end of the month, you can actually run a report and, and send that in to your boss or your client as well. Do's and okay. don'ts, uh, your data usage. Um, are you hearing me okay? Yes, we are getting you. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Um, data usage, uh, think about which internet provider is giving you the best service. I know MTN have this wonderful nine to five bundle at the moment, which is 2000 shillings a day, but our internet here has been so terrible that <laughs> I'm trying to use Airtel at the same time. So, um, yeah, of course now internet is even more important for all of us. Um, but do, do be e economical with your data, especially if somebody else is paying your bill. Okay. Uh, watch Netflix all night, meaning that you've run out of that you can't, can't uh, do your project. Um, be considerate. Um, if you are working all night on a project, how is that going to impact your colleagues if you're then asleep in the morning? Also, the people that you're sharing a house with, um, you know how are they going to put up with you if you're a bit moody if you've been working all night just well, we need to think a little bit more about these things now don't we because we're all living on the top of each other a few notes about lifestyle as you're working from home do try and keep physically active because um i know myself that i can spend 12 hours just sitting at the same table and i realize the sun has come up and the sun has set and i haven't moved all day so I'm trying to do every morning just half an hour's walk. It's something, it's, it gets your metabolism moving um, and you'll feel better for it. So, um, you know, you don't want to come out of lockdown having put on weight because it's going to be very easy to do that. In fact, you can also work standing up. Some people find that works well for them. Um, or, you know, walk around when you're making phone calls, walk around, walk around the room if you can. Um, of course, obvious tip, I hope uh, nobody's having work meetings at home because we're all supposed to be in isolation. Um, this may sound obvious to you, eating and drinking um, rules, that's uh, the kind of good advice that I hope we're all taking every day, which is 
don't drink, don't have too much sugar. Uh, there are seven spoons of sugar in Coca-Cola, for example. And if you're sitting down more, then um, you're going to quickly put on weight and, and regret that in a few weeks time. Um, don't sit at your desk snacking all day. These are all, these are all things that I've done, believe me, when um, it's very easy to sit at the desk with a cup of tea and some G-nuts or some crisps or chapati or this or that. And then, then you ask yourself why you're feeling lethargic and why you're feeling lazy. Um, and it's just because you've been sitting in the same position all day long and you've had no exercise. Um, and it just reminds me to say to you as well, don't drink too much. Uh, I've seen some Facebook updates where people have been buying lots of booze because they think they can drink their way through this quarantine. But really, um, you're going to find yourself getting a bit depressed and a bit moody. And that's not good for you or the people that you work with either. Um, and also, if you smoke weed, again, don't spend all your time getting stoned. Um, I know it's going to be it's going to be tempting for a lot of people to just sit on the sofa and watch a few gvds and so on but honestly you can't keep up that lifestyle for very long it's not going to be very good for you um just wanted to remind you to keep in contact with people um i'm so pleased to be doing this and uh this with you guys i've really enjoyed the couple of practice runs we've had on zoom it's been really good for me mentally I know that everyone's still out there and everyone's working so um I really encourage you to do Zoom meetings like this. Um, my mum, who lives in a little English village, has, is doing Zoom meetings as well. She's in her 70s and she started using Zoom for the first time. But I, I can tell that it's been really good for her morale to keep in contact with people. Um, but of course, um, it, we're, we're all very well connected. And the fact that you're on here now shows that you are or somebody who's a good communicator but do encourage your colleagues and friend as well friends as well to use google hangouts facebook groups uh, whatsapp groups whatever it is skype conference calls um, so we need this human interaction even if we're not talking about work it's very important that we all keep talking and checking on each other and just one last point really is to remind you that you also need to switch off we we have deadlines we want to make the most of this time um, but at the same time, read a book, pray, look out the window, talk to people and um, switch your devices off or at least put them in another room. Um, because every, you know, if you, if you sleep with your phone near you, your brain is mentally checking in all the time. Even if you're not looking at the screen, uh, subconsciously, your brain is not sleeping as well as it should because it's waiting to see if there's a message coming in from someone so digital detox is is important and i think especially right now because there's been such overwhelming news from all around the world and we don't really know what's going to happen next in uganda that it's um it can be it can be too much to process sometimes so give yourself a, a break you don't need to follow every little development in the news you don't need to respond to everything it's okay to take a day out you know it's okay to put your phone on silent and um, I do that nine o'clock every night. That's it. If you haven't heard from me before nine, you probably won't hear from me again until the morning. So yeah, what, uh, what are your tips? So it'd be interesting to hear in the comments what your tips are for, from working from home. This is what's worked for me. I've made a, all the things I'm telling you not to do. I've done myself. I've made all the mistakes. Um, but I, I do make it work for me. My, my particular challenge now is I'm up country. I can't believe I've managed to talk for, for 10 minutes without the signal going. Um, I'm very excited about that. Um, but yeah, please, please share your tips and um, I look forward to receiving your feedback. Um, and lastly, I will share the URL in the links. I wrote a blog last week called Coronavirus Survival Tips how to work from home and that that gives you um thank you very much and um, back over to you rogers thank you very much uh charlotte marvin is uh, has raised the hand and uh he wants to speak let us uh, unmute marvin so that he can be able to speak something good afternoon people yeah, i hope everyone is listening yes well, me, my standout is this is a time for reflection. Mm. As the world is going through so many things, but wake up to such 
things such pandemics or, or any other things that could come in the future. And just like you highlighted, working from home is another thing that we should really embrace because it serves us well. Is you're comfortable and you allow you allow the earth to breathe. On the other hand, mm. there is there's, there's a lot of congestion in the world on a day-to-day -day basis. And when we are all at our, in in our homes, it allows us to self-reflect. Those of those who, that have families can can quality more quality time with their families mm. and and i'm hoping that particularly as like a tech, a tech platform it's important we derive solutions that are sustainable and that will help everyone else in the future when such, such situations arise otherwise i am very grateful to be on the platform and thank you very much for everyone for tuning in back to you rogers okay thank you very much uh, marvin for sharing that now i'm going to share something small right now about um um when we are working from home we normally have another challenge and that challenge is normally with the security when you're working from home most of the mostly we we use um we use uh, technology so I want us to watch this video briefly, and then after that, we shall finalize. Protect yourself against internet threats. The internet can be a dangerous place. One common technique scammers use is phishing. Phishing schemes are directed at the weakest link in any security yeah. system, the user. Yeah. Criminals send out seemingly authentic emails directing users to a website. Once there, the scammers use tricks to get you to reveal sensitive personal information. Scammers may also send an email with an innocent looking attachment, such as a zip file or Word document. If you download the attachment, malicious software is installed on your computer. Many games are elaborate. That's why so many people have followed a fake link or downloaded an infected attachment. However, there are certain things you can look for. Urgent action. Many phishing emails warn of major consequences if no action is taken. You may be warned that your bank account will be closed or be told that unauthorized charges have been made on your credit card. The scammers want you to act quickly before you have time to think clearly. Spelling and grammar. If the email message contains obvious spelling or grammar errors, be suspicious. Most large, reputable companies will carefully edit their messages before sending them out. Link to a website. Many phishing emails include a link to a fake website where you are expected to validate your information. Microsoft Safety and Security Center recommends that users hover over the link in the email without clicking. When a pop up box opens, Personal information. Scammers will often ask you to update or validate your address, personal identification number, credit card information, bank account numbers, and other details that reveal your identity. So that uh, members can be able to uh, know we have been having a big challenge during this period. Uh, people have been sharing links to WhatsApp in different groups. They are at home, they are sharing those links, saying that uh, you are going to have, you have this data, you are winning it, and there's a lot of, and uh, the, the hackers are also on the loose. Even this Zoom platform, uh, some people have shown people who are trying to take advantage of working at home, they are online and uh, they are making those vicious uh, websites and links. 
trying to target to steal your information. So uh, as a community, which is online and digital, we need to be very, very vigilant about uh, safety online. Because uh, this, is our, this is our forum and this is where we are working. We are working online, so we have to be very careful. I know members know a lot and they have experienced a lot. I uh, would also maybe invite some members to share on on uh, on any of these working from home and also uh, online security when you are when you are online uh, as we shall be uh, finalizing i can see mr malinga joseph here has raised the hand mr malinga joseph are yes you sir i can hear you sir now my my biggest challenge is working from home is fine but now you find that the cost of data in Uganda is still so expensive. Of recent yesterday, but when we found that in America, the president is cutting data data rates. How how can we help the local people, or, or how can government help us understand this? Thank you. So everybody, are you getting me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I shall take care. Uh, Yes, go ahead, Shafi. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, presentation. Uh, me, I, I want to caution uh, people on uh, just two things uh, in this period. Uh, this is a period where uh, online insecurity is happening a lot. And if I, I would like to tell you to focus on two things. Any online transaction, you need to use uh, the trusted uh, platform. For example, you can use PayPal, maybe once you uh, to trust Jumia for your delivery. Sure of the new people that are coming up. So Jumi, at least we know it's been in the industry and, and uh, and, and, and and we know we can track uh, the deliveries. That, that's what I can tell you, uh, how much. All right, thank you very much. And uh, thank you for that input. Uh, yes, I uh, want us to get any other pa another person. Uh, Asa, are you are you able to hear us? Asa, I can hear. You can hear me. Yeah, and members who have just joined us, we have been discussing working from home. Uh, Charlotte has been giving us some tips on what to do when you are at home, even when you are at home. Yeah, creating and we have also shared briefly about security, online security. So I wanted to get some few more members to give in, uh, to also contribute to the discussion. And uh, there's a feature for raise a hand. If you want to speak, you look for where there is raise a hand, and then we shall give you an opportunity. Uh, Timothy, Timothy. Um, I want us to get Timothy so that he can be able to share. Wow. Hello, guys. Yes, go ahead. Hello, Rogers. Yes, go ahead. I hope everyone hears me. Yeah, um, I wanted to share a tip. Like, if you're working from home, mm. you should dress up for work. Like, you shouldn't just wake up and put on your vest or your, your shorts just because you, you're around home. It's, mm. it's good always put on the way you put on you're going to work and um, you do your work and make sure you tell your people around home that I'm working at this time and this time and they should know that you're working and you're not doing any other thing or playing video games in your laptop so that they don't inconvenience you during that time. Okay. Um, I think I only wanted to put that clear that you should dress up for work even if you're working from home. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Timothy. Uh, let us have David. David, uh, David Richard. Let us have David Richard. Um, David Richard.
David, are you getting us? You have muted me. Yeah, okay, fine now. Mm. Yeah, so uh, I wanted you to expound more on the security. Like, there are a lot of advice of, of working from home, and really want to know how you, you, you know that this one is uh, genuine and, uh, and one is not genuine. Okay. Okay, uh, about, about that, uh, like they were saying us there in that video, I'm going to share with you something here briefly as we wind up about uh, working from home and how can you detect what is true and what is not. So uh, are you able to see this browse of mine? There are some, some, some things that you need to know. Like for example, when you are on WhatsApp, we have, um, there are some, okay, let me first, let me first talk about, um, let me first tell you about, uh, a, there are some, there's this link which I put on, um, on the page of Meetup where we have been, um, where, where this Meetup was, was, was put. When it comes to, to online, there are a lot of scams online, which you'll find online. Uh, and, uh, one of the things is spam, which is unsolicited messages, normally sent on email, on WhatsApp, and everywhere. You'll find uh, email spam, you'll find uh, mobile phone spam, you'll find comments on the forum. Even us on WordPress, those of us who create WordPress websites, you'll find your contact form, some people posting there uh, in, on your contacts form on your website. So we have to be very, very vigilant. There is a uh, scareware, there is a lot. You, we can be able to do more research about this. And uh, when it comes to uh, WhatsApp itself, um, WhatsApp itself, uh, okay, there's some, some page here, which I, 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 I search, which has five dangerous WhatsApp scams you need to know about. So let us research about this, and let us be in the know. Like for example, there's this one here, saying that you have a voucher of $250 or euros, and uh, they tell you get it now. Such, such, such comments we should know, especially those ones which tell you to forward them to other people. Yeah, so we should be very careful uh, when it comes to that. This is what I wanted to uh, add on for expounding. Okay, now members, we are winding up. Um, one of uh, the, the personal tricks that I use is that uh, I look at the URL that has been, if it doesn't come from a reputable company, I immediately just close it up because there are very many companies that are renowned for giving work. But what we are going to do is, uh, because we have limited power, I think we're going to try to empower so many other people in the different regions mm. so that you can uh, keep on meeting in uh, smaller groups so that uh, even if we are incapacitated, uh, there's someone already there in that locality who can move things. So I think it's up to every community to come up with people, get leadership, and then we can find out corresponding and, and sharing with you. Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, Lawrence, and uh, some members who have managed to, to contribute. Uh, unfortunately, uh, some members, I don't know if there are some members who had a burning issue to share and they didn't get a chance, but we want to thank all the members for, for joining in. Uh, I don't know if the child is still on, you can have some final words. Roger, I wanted to request just a sec few seconds. Mm. Ah. Compliment. Yes. Well, uh, we, did, we have little time or when you are zooming, mm. but you created a classroom. Mm. You could create a, a simple micro course about certain things, and uh, we can learn, you can continue learning. Uh, just I would request that we create micro courses in a Google Classroom so that we can continue learning 
different topics. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so I think that is it. Um, there are some members always want to hear we have from. <laughs> we have some hands from uh, maybe Moses. Moses hasn't said anything. Mm -hmm. uh, Moses, so who? Okay. Muted. Yeah. Even if I talk. Ah, now we can hear you, Moses. <laughs> 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 Please share. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, my suggestion is simple. Uh, I, I'm suggesting that we should talk about the home-based businesses we can start today because some of us we don't know how we can use the internet to earn. Mm. I think I'm clear. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Which ideas? Yeah. Which ideas uh, can we? One of the best, one of the simplest ways we can earn, like me, I'm at home, but I continue doing mm. my work with websites. But which other things, which other mm. things can we work from home? If you are at home and you're no longer at your station, what can you, how can you continue earning? Mm. I don't know if there's anyone else who can give more ideas about that. There are some hands, uh, Lawrence, you can get another person. I think we can get something from uh, this TechnoSpark 4. Mm -hmm. That's the thing we have. So you have the flow, sir. TechnoSpark 4. Okay. I... He's not okay. hearing us. So, uh, I... mm. Rogers. Yeah. So if um, let's because of the time yeah. we are okay. running out. Okay. Good evening, members. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. I'm not can hearing hear people. You. Okay. We can hear you Hello. loud and clear. You can okay. hear me, right? I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I'm um, saying uh, that's nice. Uh, uh, I was saying, um, this is Dil Bobby and from Lira. Uh, I'm sorry, you guys talking about that. Uh, maybe. Okay, uh, I think we are losing. Rogers, yeah. Okay, before we are timed out, mm. before we are timed out, eh? Yes. Uh, we shall maybe we shall have a blog post to address some of the questions that are listed in the chat. Okay. If you have a chat, uh, some a question listed in the chat. If you have any advice, put it in the chat. We can be able to just put that into a blog on the website, and we'll share with everyone, uh, depending on the different thoughts that have been shared. Uh, would that be a better idea? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. We shall follow up this with uh, a post and then we shall mm. share even members who didn't manage to join us today. But it has been a great, it's very great that we have got very many people, more than 50 people joining in today. And uh, yeah, we, yeah. we were fearing and saying now what will happen during the session, but at least we are glad that we have managed to co continue connecting even during this time of lockdown. And uh, yeah, going forward, we mm. shall keep organizing more sessions like this, I think, so we can continue. So right now, I think we are winding up. Uh, uh, Arthur, we, we, Arthur will try to talk to us, and uh, I don't know that Charlotte is still on. I wanted her to give a final word. Uh, I don't know that she's still on. Uh, okay. Yeah, Charlotte is available. Okay. Um, right, sorry, there's just something talking in the background. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. So, uh, I think let's stop. Yeah, let's just stop here for today. 
Okay. We have another meetup uh, on Zoom that will be coming on uh, the second Saturday of the month. Mm. That is from six to seven, and we shall be talking about uh, e-commerce, how to drive more sales on your e-commerce site. So some people were asking about what do I do to keep on going? Uh, mm. That would be a good uh, platform for us to enjoy. So we hope to see you guys on that day. Uh, so for me, for me, that's, 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 that I'm out. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, uh, members, for joining in, and uh, we appreciate. And uh, see you. Follow uh, our, the website for WordPress community. We are going to be making the blog post to summarize what we have discussed today. And uh, in our in our WhatsApp groups, we shall keep interacting. Thank you very much for joining today. See you next time. Yeah. Right. Cheers. Yeah.